All right, so in this example, I'm not going to completely solve it, but I'll just talk about how we write down the uh, uh, game tree. So consider the sequential uh, uh, location game, but this time it's a sequential. So firm one and firm two, or two uh, 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 entrepreneurs do not choose the location simultaneously, but sequentially. So for simplicity, I am going to assume here that there are three regions. Well, because otherwise the game tree is going to look very ugly and that there's going to be a lot of branches, I mean. And so there are three regions to select. All right. And again, I'm not filling out the entire game tree, but let's suppose each region is going to bring uh, the total profit at 1000. So, uh, so there are three regions. That means there's a room for collecting $3,000 uh, of profit. So what happens, player one moves first, selects a region, R1, R2, R3, and then player two, firm two, observes the choice and then selects R1, R2, and or R3. All right, so as you see, there's a lot of uh, uh, branches here. And then obviously you have to fill out the, the payoffs. So for example, if they both choose R1 and R1, what does that mean? That means they're located in the same uh, position and hence they're going to split the market profit equally. So 1500, uh, 1500. So suppose here player one chooses R1. So this location and uh, firm two is choosing this location. So what that means firm two is going to serve uh, region two and three. And so 2000 profit, but uh, player one is going to receive only 1000 profit because it can serve only in region one and so on. All right. So you can fill out the rest of the payoffs easily. Well, how do you find the SPME? Well, it's very simple because this is a game with uh, uh, perfect information, meaning everybody can observe every actions. So here I have uh, one sub game, second sub game third sub game and obviously the game itself five sub games well but do i need to write any normal form no once again if you do not have in um, information set in your sub game do not try to write the normal form and then the nash equilibrium what you have to do you have to find the optimal strategy for player two here right i mean here it's obvious for player two the optimal strategy is to choose r2 all right, so here, I don't know what it is. Uh, you can figure this out. Here, I don't know what it is. You can figure it out. And then once it's given, you have to transform this game as, as follows. Once player one selects R1, he knows that uh, two is going to select R2. And so they're gonna end up payoff 1,000, 2,000. Well, obviously player one doesn't care about the second guy's payoff. All right, but when it is R2, well, again, uh, you have to uh, figure out the optimal strategy for player two here. And then once uh, uh, player one chooses R3, you have to figure out the optimal action here. And then the decision is very simple. Is it R1 and 1000? Is it R2 or is it R3? All right, and then at the end, you have to come up with the sub game perfect Nash equilibrium strategy profile. Well, here, uh, be careful, the strategy profile and the outcome are two different things. Uh, well, I changed my mind and so I wanted to uh, sort of uh, completely solve this question. Again, uh, for three regions, uh, you can extend it to five, ten, uh, as many regions as you like. So I found out the payoffs, but instead of thousands, I just wrote them as, you know, 15, 20, etc. Uh, so you, again, you can figure out those payoffs. What I realized is that the player two's optimal action here is to choose R2 and player two's optimal action here is again to, so always R2 is the optimal action, all right? Um, and so uh, I figured out that the payoffs are gonna be 1500 here and it's going to be 1000 here and 2000 here. And then obviously given all this, the optimal strategy for uh, firm one is R2. So. What does that mean then uh, in this particular game? Uh, this is the uh, outcome. All right, there are two ways you can describe the outcome. One is uh, firm one and two both chooses, choose R2, region two. Okay, uh, and the, this is the, the second way of describing outcome. Uh, they receive, each receive receives uh, 1500 uh, net profit. All right. 
So this is outcome. Why? Well, because this is not strategy, because the strategy has to tell me, for example, what firm two is going to do if firm one, for example, chooses something different than R2. All right. Um, here I am basically giving you in the outcome, I'm basically giving you what the equilibrium path will look like. All right. So firm one is going to uh, walk in this path and then firm two is going to walk in this path. And therefore this is going to be the outcome. So I basically represent you this part of the game. However, strategy is a, a, a bigger animal than this, right? So sub game, perfect Nash equilibrium strategy profile, all right, strategy profile, however, is the following. What is the strategy for player one? Well, he's going to play R2. Okay. But don't forget, there are three sub games for play or decision nodes for player two. So therefore, you have to tell me what she's going to do here, what she's going to do here, what she's going to do here. And it is R2, R2, R2. Oops. What does that mean? That means that basically says, Player two is going to play R2 here, also R2 here, and also R. This is why I have three R2s. Okay, so you may say when you describe the outcome, firm one is going to play R2 and firm two will always play R2, regardless of what player one does. So it's basically describing the strategy profiles in words. All right, so that would be fine. But if you do not tell me what player two is going to do once, player one does something different than R1, R2, well, that is not strategy, all right? So that's just the equilibrium path. So be careful about the distinction.